Open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let us seek for the intercession of our dear Mother. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to their protection implored the help, sought the intercession, or left the needed, inspired about this confidence. I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to you do we come before you stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your very presence in our midst. Thank you for this great opportunity that you give us to be in your presence, to be in the silence, to see how I am connected to you today and every day, to realize that you make things happen in life for me. You have control over my life. You grant me blessings. You grant me healing and health. You grant me goodness, happiness and joy. Lord, I have come very sincerely in your presence to thank you, to praise you and to worship you for the gift of life. At the same time, I have come with all my worries, tensions, anxieties, sorrows and sufferings. I have come to tell you that I need you more and more day by day. Today, Lord, we pray for physical healing for those who are sick, those who earnestly seek for your healing touch, being the first Friday, the sacred heart of Jesus, we surrender and dedicate ourselves to you totally, without reserving anything for ourselves. Lord, grant us favors, good health, healing, Lord, we pray for all the senior members in our homes, our communities. We pray for the aged, those who have no one to look after them, those in the deathbed, those who need your company at this moment, those who are sick and suffering and are breathless. Lord, Grant good health to everyone at this moment, especially those who have come earnestly to participate in this adoration. Let us take the hymn N32 on page 297. To follow the Lord and find freedom, to love as He loved and bring peace, to spend your lifetime for His kingdom, 
to want it to grow and increase to search for the truth never ceasing to look for a star in the night to knock at the door never tiring to wait eagerly for his light to follow the lord and find freedom to love as he loved and bring peace to spend our lifetime for his kingdom to want it to grow and increase to walk hand in hand with each other to share with the burden the pain to comfort the people who suffer to help those in need for no gain to follow the lord and find freedom to love as he loved and bring peace to spend our lifetime for his kingdom to want it to grow and increase as we seek for the physical healing for ourselves and for others in our homes and people whom we know let us take the psalm 50 the antiphon o god you will not spurn a humble contrite heart have mercy on me god in your kindness in your compassion blot out my offense o wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin my offenses truly i know them my sin is always before me against you you alone have i sinned what is evil in your sight i have done that you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge o see in guilt i was born a sinner was i conceived indeed you love truth in the heart then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom o purify me then i shall be clean O wash me I shall be whiter than snow Make me hear rejoicing and gladness that the bones you have crushed may revive from my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt A pure heart create for me O God put a steadfast spirit within me do not cast me away from your presence nor deprive me of your holy spirit Give me again the joy of your help with a spirit of fervor sustain me that I may teach transgressors your ways and sinners may return to you O rescue me God my helper and my tongue shall ring out your goodness O Lord open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise For in sacrifice you take no delight burnt offerings from me you would refuse My sacrifice a contrite spirit a humble contrite heart you will not spurn In your goodness show favor to Zion rebuild the walls of Jerusalem then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice holocaust offered on your altar Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen O God you will not spurn a humble contrite heart dear brothers and sisters let us take for our scripture reading from ephesians chapter 2 verses 13 to 16 now in christ jesus you who once were far off have been brought near in the blood of christ for he is our peace who has made us both one and has broken down the dividing wall of hostility by abolishing in his flesh the law of commandments and ordinances that he might create in himself one new man in place of the two so making peace and might reconcile us both to god 
in one body through the cross thereby bringing the hostility to an end the word of the lord my dear brothers and sisters let us at this time concentrate on jesus the master the savior redeemer and healer he is going to touch us at this time at this moment trust in his touch that he is going to heal you cleanse you and forgive you place yourselves totally into his care forget about all the worries that you have all the tensions anxieties and concentrate on healing raise your hands in praises and ask the lord to heal you to touch you almighty father i thank you because you have lifted the name of jesus over every other name under heaven he has the power to heal i am the lord who heals you your son jesus christ suffered and died to save us from sin sickness and disease according to your word in isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 he was pierced for my transgressions and crushed for my iniquities the punishment that brought me peace was on him by his holy wounds i am healed amen Matthew chapter 8 verse 17 makes me understand that Jesus took our sicknesses and bore our diseases. Lord Jesus Christ, you remain the same yesterday, today and forever. Hebrews chapter 3 13 verse 8. Lord, what you did in the past, do also for me right now. You went about doing good and healing all those who were oppressed by the devil have mercy on me and grant me healing by your wounds i cherish your word in isaiah chapter 33 verse 24 and no inhabitant will say i am sick the people who dwell there will be forgiven their iniquities according to psalm 103 verses 3 and 4 you are the one who forgives all my iniquities who heals all my diseases who redeems my life from the pit and who crowns me with steadfast love and mercy in jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17 you reassure me by your word i will restore you to health and heal your wounds again in jeremiah chapter 33 verse 6 You said, "Behold, I will bring to you health and healing, and I will heal them and reveal to them an abundance of prosperity and security." I believe in the power of your infallible words in my life. I know that the enemy of my soul comes as a thief to steal and kill and destroy. but you have come that i may have life and have it abundantly as you made it clear in john chapter 10 verse 10 i am also comforted by your word in 3 john chapter 1 verse 2 beloved in regard to all things i pray that you may enjoy good health and all may go well with you you who send forth your word and heal your people in their time of affliction send forth your word now and heal me i make this prayer in the most holy name of jesus christ amen hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you spirit of god thank you abba father thank you mama mary thank you angels thank you all the saints thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Almighty God, as in this morning prayer, we offer you our praise. Grant that in your kingdom, together with your saints, we may praise you with ever greater joy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let us at this time participate with the choir as we sing the benediction. May Almighty God bless you with his healing touch to cleanse you and to forgive you and to bring you back to normal health.